Uh, Don had was talking about, I wrote a while back, middle of July, about the buying stampede. And um, and he's traded Netflix successfully because of it. This is the one-year chart on the S&P. And I said back in here, when it broke out, I said, watch here for what we call a buying stampede. And that is the market is in this uptrending channel. As such. And it's climbing the wall of worry. We did have uh, quite a bit of negative information here, but it came back and held, this, held the trend line and started moving back up. And I said, watch this. This is going to be uh, an interesting... Just one moment. So, <clears throat> getting back to the chart here. Um, so I said, this is what we're going to, this is what we're going to call, it's going to be called a buying stampede. And that is the, the market is going to climb the wall of worry. And we're going to see 17 to 25 days, maybe as much as even 30 days of up markets with only a few days in between. Uh, with being red days. So there was a few more red days than I had anticipated. Oh, and I also said that, and this was in a two-week period, and I said this stock's going to, or this indice is going to trade to new highs within the month. I actually said it within a couple of weeks. And so sure enough, we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 27. We've had 28 days up, and one, two, three, or 28 days, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those are red, 20 of them are green. That's what I can, and so now we're going to start to run out of, out of steam here. Stock, uh, the market has traded to up to all time new highs. Um, you know, it's 28 day run, 20 of them up. And, um, so I wouldn't be surprised that if, you know, we're going to start to lose some energy. In the markets and it's going to roll back over especially with the earnings season coming you know to an end but because there won't be any more news to come out but you can see that uh you know this market it, it's in this trend it's at the top of the trend it's made new highs and people have FOMO they are they can't figure out you know what's going on the, the world is coming to an end there's trade wars china's putting 16 billion more tariffs on and the united states is putting 250 billion and you know interest rates are coming up a bit and you know and it's all this bad news yet the market continues to trade higher so that is so bullish it back in here actually 30 percent only 30 percent of market participants were bullish and then away it goes and, and of course you know the market never does what the, the herd thinks it should do the market does the exact opposite so of course then everybody jumps in fear of missing out you're either buying the breakout and you know we're running out of energy it's gonna, probably going to roll over here so this was the buying stampede i talked about and it and as i as i predicted i said within two weeks uh this is going to make new highs and sure enough, 14, yeah, 15 days later, so I missed it by a day, it does uh, make a new high, pulls back and makes new highs again, higher highs. So uh, that's, the, uh, that's the buying stampede explained, sorry.